Oh, okay. No more oh, Wide open. Fucking so, how much, how much extra horsepower do you think that gives? All of it. How many miles per hour do you think that translates to? Who gives a shit? I am a fucking liability. This got dangerous. I'm the silliest of things. This is the dumbest thing anyone's ever done on a minibike. I just got jazzed. I, I got an idea. I, I got a fucking idea, Nick. No, I don't want Here we go. <laughs> Welcome back to NARPM. No. Here we go. Guess what? It's been years in the making. How many years? I don't even fucking know One at this and a point. Half. That's right. We went to Iceland. We recorded some shit haphazardly. We did it. We completed it. We there, we were there. We we got things on camera. We didn't die. If we did it properly, we wouldn't be shooting this interview two years later. And we're back. All right, good morning. We are on our way to Iceland. That's right. So after a brief vacation from our vacation, we're back at it. This time with completely uh, zero clue what the fuck we're doing. Yeah, here's what I know we're doing. I know we're going to Iceland. I know we're riding mini bikes. Um, things I don't know. Um, how to ride a mini bike. Uh, how, how far will we be How far will we be riding it? With any of these like gambler events, the whole idea is seat of the pants. Gambling. Gambling. We're gonna get fucking <laughs> Tell me how this trip came up. Okay, how did this trip how did this trip come up? Zach calls me, you wanna, okay, so you wanna like Gambler 500, $500 shitbox cars, jumping them, wrecking them, uh, brand deals, um, do you wanna, do you wanna Iceland, and if we shoot a video, we can go there, all you gotta do is pay for us to go there. <laughs> and me, being, The brilliant businessman that I am was like, you guys, <laughs> you guys have a deal, pal. <laughs> oh man. Uh, no, no wonder the show almost made me go bankrupt every time I try to do it. <laughs> Man, I worked out this really sick deal. So like, you you know, all these brands are on board and all you gotta do is pay for it. <laughs> for both of us. If you're trying to pitch an idea to Mike, as long as you can establish that there will be danger, booze, uncertainty, possible death, he's usually in. I signed up right away. I was like, mini bikes? Never rode one before. Iceland? Couldn't even point it out on a map. You gotta pay for the tickets? Why not first class? But first, a word from our sponsor, me. Fuck what you heard. It's what you hearing. It's what you hearing. It's what you hearing. X go give it to ya. Fuck wait for you to get it on your own. X go deliver to ya. Knock knock, open up the door and spread with the non-stop pop pop stainless steel. Go X go give it to ya. 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 So Mike and I, we kind of have a tradition, right? So anytime we're gonna like fly somewhere, try to get to the airport extra early so that we have plenty of time to, you know, collect ourselves, you know, get through security and basically get blackout drunk at the Delta Lounge. Yo, we go now. I can't tell if it was mine or yours or both, but it was bad. <laughs> what? The perp. Oh, I didn't hurt. You didn't? No. Back in the office. <laughs> that was four. Nearly miss our flight, but we get on, and then we continue to drink beers on the flight. I'm 
my level of preparedness for this trip was like, I prepared in theory, <laughs> which means I didn't prepare at all. time i think you catch some people off guard he kind of just gave us our beers unopened mistake relationship with REI is the most toxic relationship in existence. Let me tell you what, I love REI. Phenomenal establishment, excellent return policy. Zach strolls in REI, takes whatever the fuck he wants, thousands of dollars worth of shit, fully uses it, wears it out, blows it out, goes back to the store, I don't want this anymore. Give me all of my money back. Duty free, don't mind if I do, ooh. Good play. Hey, maybe we can we can strap this up to this thing right for right now. So I'll have to hold this. But oh, the bag. I think it's Icelandic Jaeger. Let's stick with it. Let's do it. What's the Icelandic version of Bush? Viking. <laughs> do you think you and Zach have a drinking problem? <laughs> Absolutely not. Just bought eleven thousand dollars worth of booze. Hey. Do it. Do it. Do it. Today, we learned that uh, our motorcycles arrived. Uh, we also learned that they arrived in pieces. Exactly. So, Mike and I are gonna assemble motorcycles, which I'm really excited to see what Mike does with his because uh, we all know he's creative, also mechanically uh, inept. Here's the word you're looking for. That, that, that was- Much like everything else on this trip, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Uh, oh. Oh, that's Icelandic Jaeger. Cheers. Remember, you're talking to someone who has no you idea. You want to about the mini bike life? Yeah. Any, yeah. any of it. I know, I know, but I know you're used to your fancy Harleys and everything. Tate Morgan is the founder of Gambler 500. Solid dude, has one testicle. <laughs> <laughs> If you ask him, it's prudent in how the Gambler 500 was started and it like, you Describe know- Describe Tate Morgan, start with his genitals. <laughs> there, these are rigid frame, hard tail, zero rear suspension. We'll be able to crank about eight horsepower of these suckers. What's the top speed on that? 24, 25. Nice. Like, it feels like about a thousand. Yeah, we, we did about 20 miles per hour on a cooler with a weed whacker oh, motor okay. on it, so. I'm not gonna lie, like I was pretty nervous this entire trip about everything. This is the dumbest thing anyone's ever done on a mini bike. Not really. In the dumbest place, a thousand percent. I've never ridden a motorcycle in my life. So my first experience with this is like, all right, you're gonna do this, but you're gonna do it in a place where they're not built, in a country you've never been to, in like a lava field in the mountains. Yeah, come over here, hold this camera. Get off your ass, you lazy fuck. The first thing that we do is we need to bend that sucker a little over. 
Wait. Bam! Oh, oh, you see what just happened? Oh. oh. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm worth it. Oh, Wide open. Fucking. So, how much? How much extra horsepower do you think that gives? All of it. How many miles per hour do you think that translates to? Two gives a shit. All of them. So Mega. like six. Mikey and I, we're gonna go hit the town, we're gonna see what the fuck is going on, and maybe we'll give you some informational updates about the things that we see that probably are incorrect. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Homie's been hitting the squats, bro. In Iceland, all drinking is day drinking. <laughs> How would you grade your production skills on this trip? How do you feel like you, you did? Fucking Martin Scorsese of vlogging. All right, we're here at our first uh, tourist stop. This is, what, this is what it is. This is um, this is art. Auto, auto balance light, please. Whatever. You give me the camera and pff, oof, I can just make it happen, man. I'm a one man fucking band. Go time. Go time. That's disgusting. This is us appreciating culture. Yeah. yeah. Is it getting lighter out? Focus. Here's the thing about Iceland in the summertime. I, I don't think people understand, because I didn't know. I didn't know this, I don't fucking Mike didn't know this. The sun doesn't actually go down. Fucking ever. You don't know what fucking time it is, man. It's so disorienting, because it's constantly dusk. You know? <sighs> and you just wake up and you're like, well, I got nothing else to do, so I'm just gonna get fucking drunk. Woo Almost dropped the camera. Jesus age. Right. All right, listen, it is two. 04. You can't see that. It doesn't matter. It's 204. Take my it's word for it. It's 204 in the fucking oh, AM. No, no, no. In, the, in the in the in the yeah, AM. It doesn't matter. Here, check this out. It is two in the morning. Look how it looks like a fucking pregame. Well, shoot the sky. The solution to getting sleep was just to attempt to drink this Icelandic Jaeger or anything to the point where we would just get drunk enough to go to sleep. That didn't work. Okay, so here's the thing. We spent the last. Yeah, zoom, zoom really close to me. So we spent the last like 30 minutes trying to order fucking Domino's um, Only to realize that like It's all in Icelandic Which is like basically Scrabble pieces that don't make words. So we're gonna go walk to the fucking 24-hour grocery store and buy a microwave pizza So, uh, you've, you've been tuning in now for like 97 hours. <laughs> we haven't done anything car related. <laughs> Mike died. Hey, this is what, what you dialed in for, right? That's this is why you're here, okay? You Sign up for this shit, man. Yeah. Tomorrow we embark on our journey. We go to the rad shit. Yeah. Can you guys and you, what? Can you no, absolutely not. Absolutely no. not. Oh, Bill, he's right there. Fucking on the table. It's gonna be such a sick shot. D-Day, morning of. We just got a notification super late in the game that we need to be at Tate's house in like 20 minutes to, to leave for this. Mike is preparing himself. Ready. Yeah. Fly up or down? Down, you're right, stupid question. Here we go, rock and roll, baby. Ain't nothing to do it but do it. All right, we're out on the way to the bus stop. 
certainly getting a few looks. At this point, I was pretty used to the way Zach would describe a project to me by like, there's gonna be a lot of details missing, a lot of them crucial. Where are we driving? He's like, you know, like the, like the highlands of uh, Iceland. The mountains, lava fields, where the highlands of Iceland? I don't fucking know. He doesn't know. Nobody actually knows. Is that even a place? Right. So from here, we're gonna take off. Mini bikes leave first. Yeah. And then uh, we're gonna do this damn thing. What did they say, like 70 miles the first day? I think so. It wasn't until we actually like set foot in Iceland that we figured out that nobody knew what the fuck we were actually doing. All right. Did a little putt around the, uh, the staging area, let's call it. All right. This is fucking shit. Liability. Almost fell off, almost ran over some people, but I didn't. You know who did? Zach Mertens. <laughs> Zach goes down! Zach goes down! Yeah. I think I turned around just to catch that. <laughs> I'm a little chilly. So the temperature was like kind of cold, but not cold enough to be comfortable to wear a jacket. I don't think you answered my question at all. <laughs> <laughs> what was the temperature? Uh, Look, if you had to go to a bar, I'd right? I'd say like winter in Miami. Arizona, but you're drunk. <laughs> like, I'm trying mean? to paint a picture. That's right. And away we go. I got my bearings on the bike a bit. Just was like, all right, I'm ready to start this journey. To where? No idea. How long? 300 miles maybe? Kilometers? No idea. Iceland is like Mars if it was in black and white. It's like a fucking barren, black sand, volcanic wasteland of nothing. We've made it, uh, I don't know how long we've been riding. They passed us by on the Defender and they were like nine miles. I guess that's nine miles where we're going. To where we're going or how far we've gone? I don't think, I think we've gone further than nine miles. I don't know though. Ah! Look out! I think the linchpin in our entire trip was that like the very first thing we did out of the gate was pull the restrictors and shit off of the mini bikes. When we did that, we basically made them ticking time bombs. All right, well, there goes my exhaust. Look at this, it just sheared right the fuck off. We would go X amount of miles, some shit would break, somebody would blow a chain, fix it, then we'd go again. Zach left something. Ride a mini bike across the devil's butthole. You have some casualties. Oh. You didn't crash? No. No, oh, okay. There's still time. You want to? Yeah. <laughs> we made it. We did. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> My hands are full already with beer. Black licorice flavored vodka. <laughs> yeah, <that's the> <laughs> Where we are, this is our campsite. Now we made it, um, I'm gonna say 70 miles. No, no, no. Uh, more like mm, 50, 50 to 60. 50 to 60 on those things though is something else. <laughs> Done. What the fuck's that? What the fuck is that? Oh, wins. Everything's a little ratty right now. Good morning. Um, now you'd have no way of knowing it's morning because it looked like this all throughout last night, so you're gonna have to take my word for it. But it's somewhere in the ballpark of 10, 11 a.m. And Mr. Zachary what up? is prepping the hog. Prepping the hog. <laughs> Which means he's just jacking off into my bike. <laughs> my recorded. Yeah, my. Yeah. At no point did I know where we were going, when we were stopping, how long it would be in time. 
how long it would be in distance. No idea. Day one, day two, day three, not a fucking clue. Okay, update. We made it like a mile maybe. And uh, everybody's hands hurting ridiculously bad. So what we're doing is we're taking off the return springs for the throttles so we don't have to keep clamping it all the way down. This trip was like the hardest thing I've probably ever done physically because it was just days of just and that's the worst part you're just riding in pain all right water crossing i'm just gonna follow you Final stretch was the gnarliest. Oh, oh. Yo, that was gnar. I almost lost that thing so many times. This is some wild fucking land. I thought what we were going through yesterday was interesting. This whole fucking place is like outer space. We started out with eight bikes. I think there was four remaining and we just got fucking fed up with riding these things. We were like, I want to be done. These little stretches are as long as they can go. We were praying for our bikes to break. Like all the other bikes that broke, they got to sit in the van and drink whiskey. And we're just driving being like, something fucking break. Like I want this thing to end so my misery is over, but at the same time like you didn't want to quit you didn't want to be like look man i'm, I'm done riding then it starts raining and then we're just in the, the gnarliest part of the mountains there's just big rocks everywhere and we don't know where we're going and there was a point where i realized i was like we might be lost we are in the wrong place oh god like, did we miss our fucking turn off and we're like flock we don't know where we're at and nobody knows where we're at and there's like nobody around you no one like you're on a different fucking planet no one And the best part was our GoPros died. And we finally make it. And you're like, yes, the victory. None of this on film. But I described it to you in such a way that, you know, I'm, I hope that if you were listening to this with your eyes closed, you'd be like, yeah, I was there. Hey, we're fucking here. You know that, dude. Yeah, this is straight bullshit. We are here. Don't even try and hype right now. I think we did probably 160 miles total. Yeah, on, on mini bikes. Like minimum, yeah. Over two days. But this is worth it. I mean, look at this. Like yeah. We're camping. So what do we got to do now? We got to get fucked up. Because it was such a difficult experience, it was so painstaking, and like just the simple fact that you didn't want to give up made it beautiful. Why did we do this? Why did I pay to do this? I'd do it again. Knowing how painful it was, knowing how much I wanted my bike to break, know how much I wanted to stop, it's because it sucked and it was suffering and it hurt and it was rewarding and you felt like you did something. If it was comfortable, we wouldn't have fucking made a video out of it. We barely made a video out of it. With NARPM, we always set out to make awesome vehicle-based content. In reality, we're like two idiots that just get drunk and do like a very poor attempt in trying to <laughs> that right there was the metaphor for the metaphor of the show. Well, the thing is, so, you know, I want to keep making videos for fun because I like that. Um, but they don't make a lot of money because we're bad at making them. But you know what does make money? Fucking clothing. So if you want to keep supporting this channel and supporting my lifestyle, which is just investing poorly all my money into bad ideas that put my life and my money at risk constantly, then you guys can do that directly by buying clothing like this at theshellcorp.com X Games t-shirt right here. I'm sure at some point if Nick is fast at editing this, it will be out by the time this drops.